previously we made a YouTube video and I talked about doing a sort and again I want to show you without giving you the entire answer um, but the sort basically looked like this um, our last position was going to start at the end and go to one uh, and then position was going to go from one to the last position and if the array at position is bigger we were going to swap and we did a swap like this so let's see it work in Visual Basic and I've uh, dimmed out my code here for uh, for what I want to do uh, so you can't see the button sort but it looks like this um, I was gonna make the uh, form look something like this uh, text box where we store the name recall names and sort so let me just give a, a example here so this is what I want you to hand in it does it can be in any it doesn't have to be in visual basic it could be in any programming language you like um, so but a form something like this so suppose I've got some students I've got a student named Kai so I'm gonna store uh, Kai there I've got Spencer so I'll store uh, Spencer I've got Aiden um, and maybe I've got Julian as well uh, and and Wendy okay so if I click on recall you'll see there's the names now I purposely put it all in uppercase because I'm actually not using a good system for uh, the letters it's lowercase and uppercase letters have different values so you'll I decided to make them all uppercase so it's easier for the uh, the sort so there they are not in alphabetical order when I click on sort and I go recall you'll see it's now put it in alphabetical order so let's suppose Bob joins the class here so I'll put Bob store and if I recall Bob's not in order and I click sort it puts in order order so how did we do that what codes did I use well let's go back to the video I made and the code is basically this. What I did is I created a variable called temp value. Um, it'll be a string. And uh, what I'm going to do is in my swap, I'm going to say that the temp value is equal to my student uh, at position. And the reason we do that is because I want to change my student at position to be the one that follows, which is my students uh, at position plus one. So that was kind of the idea. Oops. my. And then I want to put my students at position plus one. is going to I, I don't I want it to be the old uh, my students and so the old my students is actually the temp value so that's the way it's gonna work now there's one other problem and Akira sort of helped me with that one today that I saw is our last position I said right here position is gonna go from zero to the last position but I'm checking in my if statement I check my students at position and then I'm going to check it at position plus one but if plus one is already the last position it's too big so in this loop position is going to go from zero not to the last spot because I'm going to check the last spot here but the last spot minus one so I need to do that and one of the other things I need to change in here as well is the last position um, is going to be my indexed value so what is the last spot in my array and you'll see what I have is I had a global variable called index was which was going to keep track of the array so I'm not going to say go from four because I might only have two items in my array so this is going to be the indexed position so that's sort of where the code is going to go so that's what you're going to need to do um, in your program is to get it so that when you uh, some sort of interface it looks something like this and as I add a name so I'll have Ann uh, I'll have uh, um, uh, Wendy and I'll have uh, Kai and I'll have Bob and 
As I store it, it's going to recall them. As I sort, it's going to go like that.